Okay, so what about the music widget on the iPhone? How can you add it to the home screen and what can you do about it basically? Well, it depends. Of course, if you are an Apple Music subscriber, you use the stock music app, just hold out on the home screen anywhere and click on the plus and go to the old widget section. And you can even see already that it is here like presented to me like random stuff. And also if you scroll down through all of the apps alphabetically, you can get the music. So you can get through all of the recently played. So here is like the one size of the widget and larger, the largest one, top picks or recommendations in different sizes, top charts, and all the stuff that you can actually get recommended. So that's really something to pay attention to. And you can add this kind of widget to the home screen, no problem with that. So if you just click on that, you can just start playing this specific track right away, which is fine. However, if you expected me to show you a widget which will allow you to hit play, pause, skip music and stuff, you don't really have that option as a widget. All you have to do is just to swipe down and go to this little platter where you have all of the music controls. So you cannot just put it on the home screen. It doesn't work like that within iPhones because it's just accessible all the time in the control center. So that's understandable, of course. So that's how it works. But besides that, you may also be using a different app for music. So you, for example, use Spotify. In this case, you can just download it and also have some widgets available. Now, it is a third-party app, so it really depends on the developers and what they decide to incorporate inside of this, inside of their app. But once you have the app installed, you can just come back to the home screen and go to the all widgets sections and scroll down all the way till the end, and here is Spotify. So here, you basically have the same stuff as the recently played music and only two widgets, so like two sizes for recently played stuff. Quickly access recently played playlists, artists, albums, and podcasts. So again, like a little quick widget, which saves you one more step of opening up the app and looking for the actual thing you want to play. But yeah, again, no real controls, which you're going to add to the home screen. Not sure if you actually wanted that, but I'm just assuming that this is what you are looking for. So yeah, these are the options that you have. And I'm going to wrap up the video right now. But before I do, just wait until I'll show you my Foxtech educational platform which you can join for free. It's linked down below in the description. And you can, of course, watch some educational content in terms of video editing tutorial, like in-depth guides for iPhone apps and glitch transitions, like a bunch of stuff which I don't really put out on YouTube. It's only available there. So go ahead and join right now and I will see you inside the community. So for now, thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.